And when I'm in there, all you hear is this loud ass boom, this loud ass thump. You just wondering like, what the fuck was that? At the time, I didn't care because I thought they was just fucking around because they live in like a house that's on stilts. So it's a lot of thumping. Every time they walk, it's like a thump. But that was a loud ass thump. But I didn't care. I thought somebody like jumped or something. I don't know. I was like, I don't know. Somebody fucking around in there. I come out the bathroom. Bro, all you see is an Xbox on the floor. Mind you, I had my Xbox on top of the nightstand. And now my Xbox is on the floor. So I'm sitting here like, but what the fuck happened, bro? What happened? This nigga told me this nigga tried to jump over the cord. Because I didn't have batteries at the time. I was out of batteries. So I was using using the cord, the cord that came with, the Xbox cord, into my controller. And he said, the little boy, it was the little boy, the, the Omar nigga, yeah. That nigga tried to jump over the cord and knock down my fucking Xbox. When he told me that shit, I wanted to snap, bro. I just wanted to go off on every fucking body. Because I know you got bed bugs and all. That's not really a problem for me. But when you fuck with my personal shit, bro, that's not cool, bro. Like, I, I don't know if it's broke or not. Now, if it's broke, you're going to have to pay for it. So, I'm just sitting here like, bro, why? Why would you do that? Because all he had to do was... Let him put the controller down so he can just walk over the cord. This motherfucker decides to jump over this bitch like it's hopscotch. Why the f couldn't you wait? So I'm just sitting here like, bro, what, 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 why? And then he's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. And mind you, he's only like eight, and he has. I, I'm, I honestly think I can say he has mental problems because they told me they they get paid for his problems or whatever. That's 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 that besides the point though. But yeah, I guess that's why he did it. He just didn't know any better and he really fucked up that time, I swear. As soon as that shit happened, a lot of shit went down. <clears throat> so I'm making I'm plugging my shit back up, making sure my shit's not fucked up, you know, because I can't have my game broke, bruh. So I'm plugging my shit up, making sure everything's alright. It turns on. I'm like, I'm praying to God, like, dang, thank you. And mind you, I had a disc for 2K. So when I plugged it in, my GTA still worked, but I was playing 2K. By the time I plugged it in, I had my 2K startup. And it kept telling me when I put the disc in that it wasn't going to read it. Like, I didn't know what the fuck it said. It said something about an error, but it kept saying that every fucking time. So I'm like, bruh, don't tell me I can't use my disc compartment, bruh. I'm just like I'm in a, I'm in a drop right now, so we still trying to figure out if it's gonna work or not. We've been there for about 30 minutes trying to plug it up, not plug it up, but put a disc in. We tried about three different discs, maybe four. So at this point, we're calling Xbox. So we call them and we tell them the error message, and they just told us what we could do and how we could probably fix it. So they tell us either we can do that dumbass 21 day plan. Or we could try to get it fixed by the nearest, you know, console shop or whatever. <coughs> so I, they tell me to call some some console shop called Game Mechanics. That's what my uh, my auntie told me to call. I was like Game Mechanics. I ain't never heard of them, I've, but I called them anyways. So we're calling them up. We're trying to figure out how much it would be or whatever or what the problem might be. So they tell us that it would cost about. Mm, like one something like 180 maybe so i'm like god damn that's a lot because i ain't had that much money i had about 60 dollars on me <clears throat> but 180 i damn sure ain't had that shit i, mean, I ain't balling my nigga so and he told us it'll take us about a day mind you this is night three so we had we trying to hurry up and do this shit before I, I leave and i was supposed to stay over this house for about two weeks and I only stayed over there for one. I'm, I'm pretty sure y'all knew why. <laughs> yeah, he told us it would be 180 and it would take a day to fix. After that, shit, just, you know, we just sitting there. And I'm asking my friends online, you know, can I download this game? Can I download this game? You know, unfortunately, my nigga Boss Job came through. He let me download 2K, thank God. And this was back in 2K16, was still, you know, up and running, I guess you could say. So I downloaded all my shit and then he let me download Call of Duty, the season pass as well. So I still got that shit. After that, you know, we was all good. But then later on that night, now later on, like this is about, I'll say 11 o'clock now. And I'm still on the game. 
playing 2K or whatever. And that nigga o Omar, let's say, that nigga Omar's in the living room just sitting there looking devastated as fuck. We're just all sitting here talking about, you know, how they're going to pay for it or whatever. Because I told him, I'm not paying for that shit. You broke it, bitch. You paid for it. I ain't say that specifically, but you know, I'm thinking that everybody thinks that. So they're, well, they're all just trying to come up with a solution. And you know, Wanda, y'all don't know Wanda, but she's stingy than a motherfucker. She don't like spending her money on shit that she ain't. You know, she don't need to because she, you know, she works and whatever, you know, she she just don't like to spend shit that she don't need to spend money on. Only when she really feels like spending the money, that's when she'll spend the money. But if it's like out of the way, she's not really going to spend the money for it. So she's like, all right, one of y'all motherfuckers going to have to pay for it because I ain't paying for shit. That's specifically what she said, just like that. So the, my nigga Kadarius, bro, he started going off because he's like, I ain't paying for shit. He ain't say shit, but he said, I ain't paying for nothing. I ain't the one that broke it. So that nigga yelling at his mama. Cause I ain't never seen him yell at Wanda like that. You know, she'll usually be the one to go off. But that nigga was going ham. And he was like, I ain't paying for nothing. I swear to God, if you get me in trouble. He was yelling at that nigga Omar. He was like, I swear to God, if you get me in trouble, I'm gonna beat your. You know, he was saying all this stuff. I'm like, damn, bro, you going a little too crucial on that man's, bro. So I'm just sitting here like, damn, man, these niggas really having a fucking argument over it. I mean, it's not that serious. But at the same time, it is because, you know, that's a lot of fucking money. So later on that night, i say about 30 more minutes, that nigga storms like he goes off. And soon as Wanda goes to bed, he tells that motherfucker... He tells him, I'm going to beat your ass. He said, I'm going to beat your ass. I thought he meant like whooping wise, but I, he really meant beat his ass. So we all going to sleep and he really tries to kill him. But Wanda stops him at first. So uh, after that shit, we just go to bed. So night and day four comes, bro. Day four comes. A lot of shit goes down. It's about to go down. When I tell you it gets real crazy, man. Oh my god, like, <laughs> I'm sweating in my boots, nigga. Oh my god. Day four. Damn, we got four, three more days ago, man. This shit gonna take forever. Day four, all right. It's morning time. Now, mind you, I already called the game mechanics to get my game fixed. So we, all we have to do is go over their visiting hours. So we have to wake up early. So we woke up about 11, and that was the perfect time because everybody was running their errands or whatever. So... We go there about 11, no, actually 10.30, maybe 10 o'clock, I'm not sure. And then we go up there, we drop it off, and they tell us everything, you know, that's going to happen. See what they're going to try to do and whatever. And then we just leave it there. And then we're going to, we told them we're going to come back the next day. You know, that's what how it's supposed to work. We drop the fucking console off. And then uh, we get smoothies. Yes, I remember that. Now, I remember that one. We get smoothies from the smoothie place. And then we get back home. Everybody gets back home. And then Wanda goes to work. <laughs> this is where shit took crazy. Oh, my God. Wanda goes to work. So everybody's at home but Wanda. And Wanda's the only grown-up. It's my nigga Kadarius and then the two foster kids. Mind you, Oscar broke my console. And now Wanda wants Kadarius to pay for that. So this nigga not having it. So he told him he gonna beat his ass. It comes to that time where they alone. This nigga went off, bruh. This nigga picked him up, threw him against the wall, started punching that nigga. He stomped him on the head. Oh my, I'm sitting here like, oh my God. Like at this point, I'm all the way on the top of the fucking couches with my mouth dropped to the fucking floor. My mouth was so fucking dropped, bruh. The devil could touch that bitch. That's how much that hoe was dropped. He could have grabbed that hoe and just snatched it off. That's how much my fucking jaw dropped. That nigga was beating the fuck out of him. Mind you, Kadarius is 17, bruh. He, he is about as old as me. And my, my man's Oscar, I guess you can call him. He's only about, what, 10? I'm just giving out fucking, what's the name? Ages. Because I don't know their actual age. I only know Kadarius' age. He's he's at 17. <coughs> but he is beating his ass. Like, he he's taking a grown-ass man beating. Like, this nigga could be in prison right now. 
that that's how much it feels like this look like this means drop the soap actually now that's a different term never mind but yeah he beating the fuck out this man i'm like god damn hold up bro nah and like after he get through beating his ass he wait about five more minutes and oscar just sitting there crying his heart out bro like he went through 12 years of slave i swear to god bro this man he wasn't bleeding or nothing he ain't have no bruises so i'm guessing i guess he just took it soft that time but five minutes later bro he goes back start stomping on him again then banged his head up against the wall and tossed him over at the door at this point, I just give up. I'm like, God damn, bro. Is this daily, my nigga? Well, obviously not daily, but is this weekly, my nigga? Like, because he is really taking an ass beating. And then <sighs> later on that day, Wanda gets home, and he made sure that motherfucker didn't say nothing. He said, don't say shit about this. I'm going to beat your ass again. Straight like that. <clears throat> so I'm like, God damn, this nigga ain't playing, bro. Like, he in the mafia or some shit. So it comes on later on in the day, and it's about, let's say, 7 o'clock, and Wanda's already home. She been home, and that nigga, oh my God, that nigga done fucked up, because Wanda tried to make him go find his wallet so he can see how much he had, because mind you, I did say that he gets paid for his mental abilities, or disabilities, whatever the fuck you want to call it. So Wanda just straight up give him the money so he can save up or whatever. She's trying to make him responsible, basically. So she tells him to go get his wallet. And that nigga can't find his wallet, bro. <laughs> so he getting his ass whooped again by Wanda. And my Wanda, if y'all don't know, well, of course y'all don't know. Since y'all don't know, Wanda is a very strict person at times. And she will get on your ass about things that you won't notice. So, <clears throat> yeah, she don't. She, she not playing no games. She really don't. So she'll whoop your ass when she really, really, really wants to. So she she whooped that nigga ass for a good five minutes. He went back to his room and started crying again. That nigga, I swear, that day was not his day. Because he took the ultimate ass whooping that day. Two times, nigga. I'm famous dick shit, nigga. <laughs> oh, my mama. So that nigga lost his wallet. He's still looking for it or whatever. And he can't find it. So, you know, I, that's just that day. So later on that night, we're all going to bed and we're, you know, we're still having this bed bug problem. So I'm still sitting up on the couch. But at this point, I'm like, damn, okay, no bed bugs are biting me. So I put my legs up. So I'm, I'm still sleeping upward, but my legs are up. So I sleep good, I guess, that night, but cramped up as fuck. <laughs> you know, you're not supposed to sleep sitting up. So that night was a fluke too. So night five, bro. Morning time comes, you know, he still got to look for his wallet. So he finally finds his wallet. And he gives me about $80, I think 80 to to $100. And then Wanda gives me about 30 And then my nigga, <laughs> Kadarius didn't want to give me shit, my nigga. But he was generous enough since it was, you know, for a good cause. For me and not for him, you know, he still gave me about $20. So that was a good one, 160. I don't know. Hold on, hold on. Okay, I said 80, right? He get she he gave me 80, and then Wanda gave me 30. So that's about one 110. It was about 110, and then Kadarius gave me okay. So that's like 130. They gave me like 130. So I'm going home with 130 dollars to fix my fucking what's the name? I'm not going home with it, but yeah, you know what I mean. They gave me 130 and I already had 60, so that should be enough. So I had enough for it, and you know, we're still dealing with this bed bug problem. So we're going to the store that day to pick up some, uh, what's her name? My mama gave her some instructions on how to get rid of them or whatever. So we're going to the store to get the spray or whatever so we can tent the house. So we go to Kroger or Walmart and we get the stuff and we go back. And then we're getting ready to take Kadarius to work as soon as we get back. So we get back, take him to work, and then we start the spring. Uh, we've been gone for about two hours after that. So we go, I don't know what the fuck we was doing in between that time. But we get back and the shit's already sprayed up. So we're hoping, we're just hoping that the bed bugs are gone. Now my mama did multiple treatments of this shit. 
careful so, to get rid of the bad bugs that we had. But that was the first treatment, so I'm not sure if they're gone or not. But I'm hoping, because, you know, I ain't trying to sleep in that shit. So, that's that night. And that night was pretty straightforward, too. I think I slept normal that night, but I still slept on the couch. I wasn't sleeping on the fucking mattress, bro. Not they mattress. So, day six. Now, mind you, it only took a day for them to fix my shit. Or for them to at least try to fix my shit. Key word, try. Day six, man. Morning time. We get up early again. You know, same routine. We got to run them errands. And this, I ain't going to lie. This was, this was a good experience. Because I did have to get off my ass and do some things. Which I fucking needed. Because I'm, I'm tired of just sitting in the house doing that. I don't, I don't really be doing nothing, bro. But yeah, day six. Get up early, 11 o'clock. And we get ready to take a dare to work. Well, actually, no, 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 no. I think we get ready to pick up my console and see what they say. So we're going to pick up the console. And we get there, right? And then the dude said, okay, look, this is what's broke. He told me, though, the fucking uh, disc compartment is not reading he said something about we can fix it or something. I don't know. But he also told me my HDMI port was also about to go out sooner or later. So I'm like, uh, what you mean it's about to go out sooner or later? Because that shit. But I am thinking that it could have been a problem in the making because he did make my shit fall. That, that did cause my fucking cord to yank out both of them. Both power and my HDMI cord. So maybe that could be a problem too. So I'm like, damn. And so, yeah, we came to that conclusion. And I'm just sitting here like, fuck, what do we do? So my my auntie, she just contemplating on maybe we should just call Xbox. You know, because they did say they had a warranty on the Xbox. Meaning I could get it back for free. But it had a 21-day ship in. And I'm sitting here like, so you want to go 21 days with my fucking Xbox? Really, nigga? Really? You ain't, you ain't serious. <laughs> you ain't? Nah, nigga. So I'm like, I mean, the fact that it was 21 days is what made me mad. Is because I, a week is all right. But 21 days, that's a whole fucking month. Damn near. I can't go a whole month without doing shit. Like, that's not gonna happen. I have to have something to do. Because out of those 21 days... There's going to be at least 20 days that I'm not going to have shit to do. At least 20. We're, we're just, we call Xbox and they say, they tell us everything we got to do. And they give us our shipping code, whatever the fuck it is. And they tell us we got to put it in a box with a certain code. And then we, we at some point, we did do it. Like, we got ready to do it. But we just, we never did it. Because I, I couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it, bro. I can't. 21 fucking days do you not understand how crucial that is so we're we just tell that man's like okay i'm gonna just take it home and get it fixed at the nearest place at my home so at this point my shit still broke and we don't really have nothing to do but play the games that i have you know last day bruh last fucking day bruh so this is the day where I'm supposed to be going home. Now, mind you, bro, mind you, I'm supposed to be staying over there two weeks. I told my mama I couldn't do that shit. So she came a little bit earlier, and this is Friday. Night seven, this is Friday. So my mama's coming back. And like I told you, it's a six hour drive. So if she was to come back and get me again on the same night, that would have been a whole 24 hour drive. You know, black, black mama's not having it, bro. So yeah, night seven. Or day seven. I don't even think he made it tonight that day, bro. <laughs> My mama comes and she comes back. Uh what time? Probably about seven o'clock. No, no, not even, not even. She comes early, I think. I think she comes about one, maybe twelve. I think it's about five o'clock when she comes through. So in the morning time, I'm just sitting there playing the game, and then my mama comes a little bit later, like at six o'clock or whatever. And uh yeah, she comes through, and like always, when a new person comes through that door, bro, it mayhem starts reeking like a motherfucker. All them dogs start barking, shit get crazy. And by the way, Coco, nice to me the whole fucking time. Justice, she, she just kept being a bitch. 
I couldn't stand her ass. And Chase, that's my nigga. Chase is my nigga. I'm talking about the dogs, by the way. But yeah, as soon as my mama come through, mayhem already. And I'm like, God damn, bruh. And I didn't know this, but she brought my dog. She brought Junior in. So I'm like, oh my God, you brought Junior? What the fuck? I'm like, because that's a whole six hour drive. I ain't know you want to be six hours with that nigga. <laughs> Cause he annoying as hell in the car, bro. All he do is cry when he in the car. I don't know why, but six hours with him is just not not the type of thing I do. So he, she comes through with my dog, and we're just we're just like uh, I don't know how this gonna work because you know there's three vicious ass little chihuahua looking motherfuckers, and then there's my chihuahua. And I don't know y'all probably like ah oh, you a bitch you got a chihuahua. It was my mama's. I right? so shut the fuck up. But yeah, she come through with my dog. He ain't even he ain't even a bitch, bro. He'll fight you, so shut up, man. But yeah. Come through with him and we're just trying to figure out how this gonna work because you know them dogs probably not gonna get along. Especially Chase, because there's two girls and then there's a boy. And that nigga, he's neutered. So he probably gonna be jealous because my dog got a dick and he is dope, my nigga. <laughs> so I'm like, damn, okay, we probably just gotta keep them separated because I don't think they like other dogs, you know, that close to, you know, the girls. So, they have a little doggy cage, if y'all didn't know this already. So, we split them up in the doggy cage. And we're just sitting there contemplating on what's going on. My mama having a conversation with my auntie, making sure everything's down par and whatever. Just getting shit straight, you know, getting up to date on what's going on. Because, you know, all that shit that happened was a lot on me, bro. I, I really wouldn't be for the bullshit. So they're just fixing shit up, making sure they got shit clear. And then uh, about 10 minutes into the conversation, bro, Chase walks up to the, the doggy gate. And my nigga Junior, bro, he's already sitting at the doggy gate because he, he curious, bro. He's very nosy. I hate that, but at the same time, it's good. But yeah, he's very fucking nosy. So he goes up to the gate like he's just sitting there waiting for him. And then Chase... He's the biggest dog in the room. Even though he's small still, he's the biggest dog in the room. And the doggy gates, I don't know how he would be able to fit through them, but just, just listen. Chase walks up to the gate, starts sniffing him. Apparently, this motherfucker smells some shit he ain't like. Possibly a ding ding. So he, he walks up to the gate, sniffs him, and starts growling for about half of a second. And then all of a sudden, <clears throat> that nigga launched at Junior, bro. And mind you, there's a doggy gate in front of him. Soon as he launches at him, bro, half of his body is through the fucking doggy gate, bro. This nigga launched at him like a fucking bullet. He launched at him so hard, bro. My nigga Junior was already at the other side of the fucking room by the time that nigga was in the shit. So this nigga almost bit my fucking dog's face off, bro. Oh my mama, that was the craziest shit I've ever seen. I have never seen a dog go so vicious over nothing, you know? Because he just sitting there sniffing him, trying to get to know him. And then this nigga just getting attacked there. Like, what the fuck? So that happened. And I'm like, God damn, bro. Did you see that shit? My nigga Kadarius was right in front of him when it happened. I'm like, did you see that shit? My bro, he just launched at my dog. So I'm just like, God damn. It was funny, but at the same time, that shit was vicious as fuck like we didn't even know how to feel about that even even my mama was like god damn but yeah after that happened you know we we tried to we tried to get them separated as much as possible so we put chase back in his cage out on the porch and then we just opened the doggy gates and let the other dogs you know fucking play or whatever and we're still talking or whatever and i'm playing my game you know i ain't down for all that talking shit i'm playing my game minding my business so the other dogs my dog junior's playing with uh fucking coco and him and coco they got along like a motherfucker it looked like they wanted to fuck at one point but yeah after that happened <laughs> my mama tried to pick up justice i know y'all remember me telling y'all that justice was the bitchiest dog you'll ever meet so bitchy that when my mama tried to pick her up, she bit the fuck out my mama, bro. And I, I don't know if I told you all this yet, but Justice is the smallest dog, but vicious as fuck. Like she, she is the size of a teacup chihuahua, but has the most vicious 
fucking personality. Like she has, she's about as vicious as a fucking pit bull for no fucking reason. For no fucking reason. That bitch so small and she'll bite your ear off for no reason. For no reason. So she bit my mama's finger and then my mama started beating the. F- <laughs> <laughs> she started beating the fuck out that damn dog. He like bitch, bitch, no bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she started going off on that bitch, bro. Oh my god! Like I, I, don't, I ain't seen so much shit happen all at once, bro. Like that shit was funny. I didn't know how to feel. So we're we're after the shit like that happened. We're ready to get the fuck out that house. So I hurry up and pack my shit up under 2.5 seconds, and I'm getting the fuck up out of there. And I'm like, yo, mama, I'm not, I'm not doing this shit no more. He's like, you wanna come back next week? I'm like, <laughs> I ain't say that, but I'm like, hey, what the fuck, no? I, I I hurried up and said no before she even got the rest out of her mouth. Like, fuck no, I'm not coming back over here. And it's not nothing against my cousin. I love my cousin, but he cool. It's just the environment that they're in and the shit that happens over there. Like, it's just not, it's just not the type of place I want to be in. Bro. I don't want to do it. I just can't. It's not my lifestyle. So we're finally out of this bitch, bruh. So that's it, bro. That's we. As soon as we out of there, bro, we just get home and we just talking about it. Like, damn, did all that shit really happen? Cause that shit, it felt like a goddamn prison dream, like a nightmare, motherfucker. So yeah, there you have it, bro. That's my story, man. Time I almost got bed, but oh yeah. Speaking of that, um, when we got home, I burned all my clothes. Made sure I washed them hoes. I didn't burn them, burn them, but like you know, I, I washed them in hot, hot, hot ass fucking water made sure we got all them bitches and then she did find some in my clothes too so if she didn't wash them motherfuckers i would have been fucked we would have been fucked so yeah but yeah moral of the story don't ever spend the night at nobody's house if you don't know what's there you feel me like always make sure that they don't you know have nothing secretive about them because shit like that bro oh my god and it's not even the bed bugs that got me. It's the rest of the shit that happened. Like, look, we had the bed bugs. Nigga broke my Xbox. Dogs was fucking with me. Then the dogs bit my goddamn dog. Dogs bit my mama. Like, damn, bro. A lot of shit happened. Then Kadarius beat my motherfucking nigga Omar up. <laughs> a lot of shit went down, bro. It's just, it's not that one specific thing. That's what I was telling y'all. It's just everything all in one is, is what makes it such a crazy story but yeah i hope y'all guys like this story this shit took long as fuck damn near an hour long he just did what he had to do bro but yeah i hope y'all like this bro leave a like on the goddamn video bro comment if you have to you got any questions anything else you want me to tell about like virginity wise you feel me and yeah anything like that yeah but subscribe to as well if you if this your first time and as this being my first story time bro you feel me? I gotta end it with a bang. So, yeah. I'll see y'all motherfuckers later, bruh.